Okay, see how this is a typical oak cabinet door. You can see the different variation of the wood color. Now this is really deep grain too. Listen. That's what happens with oak. Okay, see these different colors there and there, there. And what we're going to do is I'm going to spray this with an undercoater that's kind of the color of wood that kind of kills all this variation. And then we have a shading technique we do on top of the undercoater that makes it still look like wood, but it gets rid of that hard, deep grain. At least it camouflages it. Okay. Okay, now you can see how it's blended all those grain colors into one color. So that's what we start with as a base color. So this is what it looks like after we sprayed one quick coat of undercoater, lacquer undercoater. Now the grain is gone. A lot of it's gone. There's still deep grain. You can see on the edges. Look. Okay, but at least it's all the same color now. Okay, here's another thing I want to show you. See how this is an end panel? This is not really real wood, okay? They've made it look like real wood, but what it is is contact paper over particle board. And so to make that look like real wood when we're done is a little bit of a technique. But we still undercoat it too to get rid of all the grain that, and make it all the same color. Okay, see how we mask off the entire kitchen? We put a tent around it. And then we come in and we're still, we have that oak grain in here. And after we spray it, the color is blended with a undercoater. Okay, so we start with this oak door and we sand it and clean it and make it look ready and good for the undercoater. Then we take this undercoater and coat both sides of the door and drawers and the boxes that are in the kitchen in the bath. Then after that we have a special technique and a glazing compound that we use that we cover the entire door front and back and we have to hand put that on and then we wipe it off and we use glazing brushes to put some reintroduce different parts of grain uh, on different parts of the door and after that <clears throat> we begin spraying colored translucent lacquer um, in this picture we can see that there's the one on the left has got only one coat of colored lacquer over the glazing compound the one on the right has already got two coats after we do three to four coats then we have the finished product. This little video clip right here shows what the finished product looks like. And then we have these other pictures that are right here of this kitchen that turned out just beautiful. The people loved it. We, they called us on a Thursday we started the job on Friday and finished it up by noon on Saturday and they were delighted.